This is a bantamweight battle between Liam Gallagher and Kareem Henyon. Gallagher went undefeated with two dominant victories in 2022. Now he looks to ride the momentum into 2023 with another huge win. His opponent, Kareem Henyen, made his pro debut at BTC 17 and wowed the crowd with a flashy performance on his way to a unanimous decision. It's time for the showdown between Liam Gallagher and the Kryptonian, Kareem Henyen. And the training sessions are, uh, are, are tough, so it's gonna be, it's gonna be good to see. You can see there the tail of the tape, two-inch reach advantage for Henyon, two years older, and a three-inch reach advantage Here we go, advantage BTC as well. Fight fans. The following matchup is scheduled for three rounds in the Bantamweight division. Both fighters are undefeated. Somebody's O has to go. This fight is being brought to you tonight by Every Child Matters, Cerebral Champion, and Ferreira Signature Live. Formally introducing all three men in the cage at this time, starting with your referee, Brian Beauchamp. And now the fighters. First, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing the black trunks trimmed in gray and white. Standing five feet, 10 inches tall, he weighed in at 136 pounds. He's a freestyle mixed martial artist representing track fit boxing and TriStar West Island. He comes to the BTC cage undefeated with a record of one win and no losses. Fighting out of and representing Montreal, Quebec, ladies and gentlemen, here is Kareem the Kryptonian Henyan. His opponent across the cage fighting out of the red corner. Wearing the black trunks trimmed in green. Standing five feet, eight inches tall, he weighed in at 135.4 pounds. He's a kickboxing specialist representing Vision Quest MMA. He comes to the BTC cage undefeated with a record of two wins, no losses. With one of those wins coming by way of submission. Fighting out of and representing Binbrook, Ontario. Ladies and gentlemen, here is Liam Gallagher! <laughs> Referee Brian Beauchamp with final fight instruction. Hey, gentlemen, no more instructions in the back room on a clean fair fight. Just touch gloves, go back to your corner. Ladies and gentlemen, this undefeated matchup will be decided in three rounds or less. The veteran referee, Brian Beauchamp, the third and final man inside the BTC cage, and we are underway. And Kareem has hurt Liam he's early. Gonna, he's going to start fast. Kareem is blitzing. Liam fast. is down. Kareem going in for the finish. Henyan, ground and pound. Liam trying to grab on for something, and Henyan is going in for the kill. Kareem has to be patient. In his last fight, he started off strong and then he slowed down in the second and third round. He does have to be patient and he's got to watch Liam's guard. Liam does have a really good guard and he can lock up stuff like he did in his fight against Dylan when he was behind. Yeah, that was a very impressive, especially against a bigger body like a Dylan McIlvain. But Kareem's got Liam hurt like we haven't seen before, but now it's about implementing your game plan here and not letting Liam get that time to recover. Yeah, for sure. He's got to definitely work here as well, just like this, There's exactly. There's a good ground and pound to gain from Kareem Henyen. And one thing you're guaranteed with Kareem Henyen, he's going to start fast and explosive. For sure, and, and that's what Liam uh, had to know as well, that Kareem was going to, and you can even see him chomping at the bits when they brought the fighters together. Kareem is going to start off fast. Um, but it's just about maintaining that aggression. Oh, and there, Very nice shot by Kareem. Kareem lets Liam up, and we'll see what happens once again on the feet as Gallagher trying to back up Henyen. Good push, sidekick there from Henyen. This may have been a little low. 
this is where this is where Liam does have to start uh, pressuring because because uh, Kareem does fade a bit here. He started off fast and now he's he's slowly on the back foot like he did in his second and third fight in his second and, uh, round and third round in the first fight. So there was a low blow. Now we're back to the action where both men trade low kicks. Good feints by Liam. Nice side kick by Kareem. The kicks and just the angles. And there's a high kick though from Gallagher. Both guys should get the Oh, goal. spinning back fist from Henyan. But he's got to he's got to do something with that. He can't just gloat after that. It was a good punch, but he's got to add more punches from that. Uh, As Gallagher trying to put the pressure on now gets a uh, body lock here up on Henyan. Nice, nice duck under into a body lock there by Liam and, and good a lift. Big thunderous takedown from Gallagher, who tries to take the back. And good work good. from Kareem to swing out of it. That, but that tires Kareem out, Jason. He's an explosive guy. He's a big guy. It takes, it makes him hard to cut to 135. That tires him out. That's exactly what Liam needs to do. Is more stuff like that. We should note that Kareem did miss weight originally. Made weight on the second attempt at 136. More feints, more uh, level changes by Liam, just to keep Kareem oh. guessing. Nice job by uh, Kareem there. Uh, Henyan really putting on a good striking display. Finding those openings. Thought about the trip attempt, maybe. There's a high kick again. Gallagher blocked it. Good jab nice. again from Henyan. That was more like a leap in uh, uppercut there, but yes, it was very hard for Liam to see that. And now so, Liam's also fighting at a point he hasn't as a pro where he's got kind of on the, once again on the back foot. Kind of, yes. He's still, he's on the, uh, he's pressuring, but yes, he's getting a, attacked. And I think that goes to him not moving his head, not setting up his feints as much as he should just to keep Kareem guessing, get those takedowns going, just to get him going. Oh, See how every time Kareem throws, his head's right in front and not moving. Yeah, his hands are very low, are from Henyan, and if Gallagher can land the right shot, he can just put Henyan's lights out. Yes, there's a good one-two combo from he, Henyan. He's pressuring really well, but every time he pressures, he's not uh, fainting or anything, and Kareem will fire back his one-twos and get oh. and circle out just like that. Kareem is doing an excellent game plan. Henyan landed a jab. There had to be worry of a clash of heads. And now Gallagher he shoots down. in for the double leg attempt and now trying to switch to take the back. And does. Very good, very good takedown attempt by Liam there. That's exactly what he needs to do. And now he's getting that uh, hook in, that grapevine in there. Trying to sag his opponent down. As Gallagher's gonna have to use that wrestling right now. now nice back elbow there from Henyan. That's what makes Henyan so tough. He's so explosive, he hits you from angles he's you're not expecting be yeah. from. Liam's gotta be ready for anything good. Uh, Kareem put his back on the cage, which was smart, and a good push-up. Very nice uh, choices there by Kareem. Very good work. As Gallagher tries to once again push the pressure on sidekick attempt again from Hanyan. Needs and to keep him working, right? Needs to set up those takedowns. Good body oh. kick by Liam. Body kick from Gallagher. Did clip Hanyan, and he tries a spinning back fist, though it doesn't connect and then goes right in for a single leg attempt. Ooh. Near face crank, but the horn goes to end the first round. Liam's cut, Liam's cut. A very exciting first round, and there to your point as well, Liam Gallagher cut over one of his eyebrows. Very exciting round. Uh, I thought Kareem won that just with the bigger shots. Um, uh, Liam was pressuring more, uh, but Again, he was pressuring, but he wasn't doing much with the pressure. Every time he came in, Kareem would catch him with two or three punches uh, every single time. He had a good takedown attempt, but I don't think that uh, does enough. I think Kareem landed the bigger shots and the bigger flurry. Well, as we're seeing here, some of those big shots that Kareem Henyan landed. There's a good side kick that Henyan landed, and of course he landed an excellent spinning back fist. He's just, he's, here, he's just waiting for uh, Kareem. He's stalking him, but he's not doing much to stalk him. Good takedown. That's a takedown, good takedown by Liam there. Yeah, Liam had his moments late, but not enough to win the round to your point there, Urgus, as Henyan started fast and explosive, but as the fights go longer, that tends to hinder the fast, explosive fighter. Absolutely, it's, it's good to, it's, it's interesting to see how the second and third round's gonna play out if we go to the third round. It's gonna be interesting to see how uh, Kareem starts and what adjustments Liam makes uh, now. And if you were in Liam's corner, Ergus, what are you going to say? Uh, just like 
you could keep the pressure, but again, add more feints, uh, switch it up, make it a little bit more difficult for him to read, right? Because right now, Kareem's got his timing. He knows what Liam's going to do, and he's just walking forward. Bit of a slick spot in Henyen's corner. Brian Beauchamp trying to examine it. Where's the ice, Jason? Where's, yeah, where's the, the ice? The ice? <laughs> there are some ice right there. Oh, there you go. Uh, is now ejected from the BTC fight cage. Always a strategy as well, leaving that ice on the yeah. floor. More, more rest for the uh, person. So here we go, round two underway. Notice how Kareem did not start off as aggressive as he did in round one. No, not at all, but it's interesting how you score that first round. Do you think we were in 10-8 territory there? No, Ernest? not at all, because Liam did enough to make it a competitive uh, round, but it definitely was Kareem's round with the bigger shots. As Gallagher tries a leg kick, swing and a miss. Henyen showing off some feints, and there you see that Muay Thai style from Gallagher. Yeah, he's got to add, he's got to, he's got to keep moving that head. He keeps getting tagged with that punch every time. He's got to get his head off the center line. He keeps coming and stalking, and that's better, very nice. And he can even shoot the hips after that, because it gets Kareem thinking. Another good combination from Henyen. And that cut. Over the right That's eye a problem. of Gallagher, nice check continuing to Kareem. bleed. There you go. That was a good switch. He notices that Kareem keeps coming at him, and that was a good time on that switch. Getting the hips, trying to dump him. But good balance from Henyon to stop that from happening. But finally, Gallagher does get the fight very, to the ground. Very nice takedown by uh, Liam. He's just going to try to lace up the legs here, climb up the body, get that hook in. One hook is in here from Liam Gallagher, who does, have, as you mentioned, Ergis, have a real good submission game. Yes, for sure. And even here, too, just sagging on him, just keep him tired, get him. This is going to drain Kareem. This is going to drain him a lot here because he's explosive and he's going to want the big moves. So just keeping him, keeping him tired here, battling the hand positions, right, getting him working is exactly what Liam should be doing. What Kareem's trying to do is, is the right thing. He's trying to get his back on the floor and he's trying to get an, uh, trying to get an underhook in. As Liam still has the leg grapevine, but Kareem's doing a good job of turning into Gallagher to try to break that position. There you go, and good, just like that. Oh, and a good, good check hook. Good hook there from Henyen. Another one, two. That one doesn't connect. There's a high kick from Gallagher that Henyen did block. Liam's trying to turn up the pressure now, which is exactly what he needs to do. And they very nice. Yeah, Liam, Liam's trying to find a way to be oh. the bully in there, but there's a big takedown from Henyen. Nice switch up by Kareem. He notices that Liam was just coming forward and not respecting that he has takedowns too. Very good job by Kareem to make that adjustment. Yeah, Kareem, he showed he had takedowns in his pro debut. They were a little more flashy than that, but when you need to go to the basics and bread and butter, Henyen obviously has that tool of his trade. Well, now it gets him guessing because now Liam knows that he has the flashy stuff and the basic stuff too. Um, we're just in close guard here. Cream's trying to land some shots. Liam has to be a little bit more urgent here. He, it was a it was a pretty close uh, round up until this point. He's gotta he's gotta get the feet on the hip. He's gotta start pushing because Cream's perfectly fine just staying here and and chewing out the minutes and the time and the clock. Yeah, Kareem not really showing the urgency for throwing some damage, but I think he's trying to recoup a little bit more, get some energy back. Oh, for sure, and 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 that's the thing. This is a good spot as long as he's staying active and right. and he's and he's looking like he's urgent. The ref's not going to have uh, any issue stopping him. And Brian bowshop has got a grappling yeah. back on, so he's not going to. Um, I think uh, he's of the old school where yes. you got to earn the uh, stand up. Exactly. And by earn it, meaning do it yourself. Yeah. I'm not. He's not going <laughs> to no, step in sure, there nor, unless sure. a, a reason needs to be as Henyen continues to work here in half but guard. Kareem's doing, in my opinion, enough. He could be a little bit more urgent, but it's enough. He is working. So he's, and he's exploding when he needs to. Uh, Liam's, Liam's got to try to creep up on the cage, start putting his back on the cage and trying to get up because right now Kareem's winning this round just by staying here and landing the uh, somewhat of the punches. He can't win this round by just staying and throwing punches from the bottom. No, I mean, it, I mean, unless he was able to maybe find a way to cut Henyan or do something, but the way Henyan's, he keeps driving Gallagher towards the fence, yeah. exploding when needs to, staying active, 
It's going to be tough here for Gallagher with 39 seconds left in round two. Oh, for sure. And I'm all for if you got to if you're active on the bottom with elbows and sweeps and triangles, then yes, you could be winning the round. But Liam's not really doing right that right now. His legs are closed. He hasn't even attempted really to open them. And uh, Kareem's just uh, landing the shots here. A lot of blood as well on around the nose area. Not sure if that's from the blood dripping down or if the, there is some there is cut, some blood, some cut, or a maybe potential broken nose from Gallagher. As we hear the 10-second clapper, and Henyan continues to pour it on here with 10 about 10 minutes gone. Now 10 minutes gone. There goes the horn. Henyan has his hands up already, but Kareem, there's another round to go, buddy. There is a there is another round to go, right? And and knowing Liam, he has. He has been down in, 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 in his first fight before, and then he's been, he pulled out the submission. So he, he's definitely still in this game, you know what I mean? And it's still a close fight. Yes, Kareem might have won both rounds, but it's still a close fight, and it really could go either way. Good switch by Liam there. That was a good, good attempt on the takedown there by Liam. As you see once again, this time, this is the takedown here from Henyon where he just exploded through on the double leg. Oh, exactly, and, 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 and Liam was just pressuring forward, not respecting the fact that Kareem does have takedowns, and, and he paid the price and, and overall lost the round because of that. Well, it was a good round for Henyan. Gallagher had his moments, but Henyan and his athleticism really was able to Here we go. get the switch in the position, noise. get a break, and then get that double leg. Athleticism and also smarts. You got to give it smarts yep. as well, too, because he noticed that he was coming in. Uh, and he made the adjustment to go straight for the takedown. A lot of guys really can't do that, right? They try to rely too much on the athleticism. He switched it up and was able to go to wrestling as soon as he felt like he was uh, losing the striking battle. So here we go, round three. Liam's got to be urgent here. Um, I'm sure that's what his corner was telling him. Josh Hill, Lennon Wicklock in there. Who are both very experienced coaches and are telling him, you're right, the exact same not thing. Not only experienced, but honest. They're brutally honest in there, and they're not going to sugarcoat anything there for Liam. Yeah. Again, Liam walking straight in makes it an easier uh, 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 thing for Kareem. He's got to add feints to make it a little bit more difficult. I know it's hard with Kareem's unorthodox style of hands down and and taunting and, and going, but he does, does need to be a little bit more urgent with the shots. There's nice. a sidekick from Henyon. Right now, it just seems like Henyon's trying to land some strikes, but more for points, not for damage. Exactly, he is. He's, oh, there's he's, some damage, though. He's landing his strikes. He's comfortable. He's in the zone. He's in the, he's in the lead here. And another oh, oh. takedown. Beautiful timing Big again. Double leg takedown from Kareem Henyon. Used his hand, set it up. When As soon as Liam came in, he shot him for that double leg. That was brilliant by Kareem. Yeah, he timed where that knee was going to come from Gallagher and explodes once again, getting Gallagher back on the mat. Here's the thing with this, Kareem's not, he's hes active, but he's not too active. This is where Liam's gotta put the foot on the hips. He's gotta start working. He's gotta start being urgent. Even, yeah, there you go. There you go. Right on cue, Ergus. Gets the separation here. Does Gallagher from Henyen. But well, Henyen Kareem just comes gives right back. Nothing. Yeah, Henyen knew you can't give Gallagher that much space. You can't. Do, you know, an injured tiger is obviously the most dangerous tiger. Oh, for sure. And again, and 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 as much as I want to say, Kareem's got. Uh, I mean, Liam's got to do it again. It is very um, energy consuming to do all that, and then for Kareem to just come right back in and and put you right back down just like that. So, but but he's still even if even if it means he's got to give up somewhat of a bad position to try to get up, he's got to be urgent because he's not winning the rounds right now. He's got to be showing just like this, exactly like this. He's got to be using his hips, getting his feet in, trying to create space for a submission, for a sweep, for a getup. Yeah, Gallagher did have a third round armbar, as we talked about in his pro debut, and he's kind of looking for armbar, triangle off his back. He's but Kareem's giving him no. He's no got to create inches. the space, and I and 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 I'm sure Kareem watched that fight, and he knows not to be too. Um, uh, wild with his punches, so he's that's why he's a, he's holding when he's holding. But there's another armbar attempt there. Yeah, Gallagher tried to go belly down, but lost the positioning. As Henyan once again working in half guard, Rand was all smothering Gallagher, really giving him no space to try to set up anything. Uh, for sure, and 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 that's exactly what he's doing. And he's holding him when he want when he needs to, and when he wants to 
break and strike, he's uh, able to do that. And 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 Liam's got to force the action here. I know it's hard, um, but he's got to try to create the space with his hands and his feet. He's got to get those feet in there and start pushing exactly just like that. And now he's got to go wild. He's got to force himself into a bad position. He's losing the rounds here. He can't let Kareem come into him just like that. And Henyon comes right into Gallagher's guard. And there's a triangle attempt here from Gallagher. Just lost the positioning. Can Gallagher get this triangle? Another triangle. In. Arm bar. No, lost it. Right, and it's a Henyon was control. That's exactly, yep. Henyon was aware of it and decided to just smother and now try to work in side control. That's, that's exactly what he needed to try to do. And right here, he still needs to try to go. We got a minute 15 left. Um, Kareem's perfectly intent in just holding here. Um, you know, it's a dominant position. Uh, referee Brian Bolshev is no way going to stop this. Uh, uh, stand them up with a minute left here. Uh, oh, Gallagher trying to wall walk. Uses his feet to push off on the fence. As Gallagher still in. Good, er, good hip block. Inside control. Good hip block by Kareem there. When he tried to use the fence, he used that right arm to just block that hip. That was really smart by Kareem there. Very good. As Henyan, as you said, he's really content to be in these positions. He's just, yeah, he's just, uh, he's just content in holding and 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 riding out the rest of the ride in this dominant side control position. And even if he doesn't strike, he doesn't really need to. He landed a good solid. Uh, he's in a good solid pass position, um, you know, and and just riding out the the round. I think what we've learned from Kareem Henyan so far through two fights, that first round's gonna be the pivotal one. If you can withstand the flurries of the fast paced, explosive striking, you'll have a chance, but if that yes. pressure's too much on you. Yeah, but also too, what we also learned is that he knows that people thought that as well, and he was able to switch up his game plan and be smarter and, and was able to understand when to strike and when to take down and, and, and when to go. So it was actually a very smart and and, and well-calculated uh, game plan from Kareem. Very well done. Very good performance from Kareem Hanyan as he really gets to showcase all his tools of the trade against Liam Gallagher. And Kareem Hanyan's gonna hop up on the fence above us. Salute mm. his fans, we look I at the highlights we, I here. I hope we don't get any sweat on us here, Jason. As we look at the highlights here in round three, Argus. Yeah. For, and, and again, as soon as he tried to uh, come up, Kareem was doing a great job of not just not giving him any space, and 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 that's just and that's just what it was. Absolutely great game plan by Kareem, and uh, excited to see what he had, what what's in store for this uh, young man. There is a bright future here for Kareem Henyan. A lot of opportunities for him. Should move to 2-0 and here on the judges' scorecards. But once again, Kareem Henyan, big performance. And really, big night for track fit box, boxing in Quebec. Cedric Lockhart had a victory earlier, and Kareem Henyan should be moments away from a, a unanimous decision victory. It's always good when both teammates go 2-0. and And it's always good when you get two teammates on the card. You can push each other and things of that nature, and I think that was the thing that benefited Kareem, and benefited Cedric earlier. Ladies and gentlemen, and now please Pete Trevino with the official decision. together for both of the fighters in the center of the cage. After three rounds of professional mixed martial arts, the judges' scorecards read as follows. Judge McNeil scores the contest 30 to 27. Judge Vandermeer scores it 30 to 26. And Judge Haniv scores it 30 to 27. All for your winner by unanimous decision. Fighting out of the blue corner, Kareem the Kryptonian Hanyan. Kareem Henyan, you move to 2-0, continue to be one of the most exciting guys at 135. Unanimous decision, one judge gave you a 10-8 round, rate your performance. Bro, well, you already know the Kryptonian is here to stay undefeated, know what I'm saying? Woo, that was a fucking great fight. Liam Gallagher is a fucking technical fighter. 
but it's just that I'm another next level to savagery. Ah, shout out to Montréal! Merci à tous les gars qui sont venus ici à l'Ontario pour me voir! Ah! Well, Karim, it was obviously a great night for you, but as well, great night for, you know, t uh, your, your team there. Cedric had a win earlier. You guys, you know, Montreal track fit, track fit boxing, really a breakthrough night for you guys. Yeah, man, track fit boxing, take me, take me under their, comment on dit l'aile en anglais, the wing, they, they, they took me under their wing when I was like, trying to look myself. Yo, they fucking got me to this level. Shout out to Coach Neige. Shout out to Xavier. Shout out to my fucking Cedric Lochard who got his fucking seven, second win of the year. Shout out to Marino, know what I'm saying? Shout out to Elsa Kalia, the best hairdresser in Montreal. Woo! Well, Kareem, last question for you. What's next? Because the sky's the limit for you at 135. Hey, listen. I'm here in the sport to get all the belts. So whatever can get me to that belt, bring it to me! Ladies and gentlemen, your winner, the Kryptonian, Kareem Henyan. Back in there. Yeah. Tell him to watch it. Now nah, I ain't talking my pockets. Just know we ain't running out the way that we stock it. If I got it, you got it. If I call it, she slide and tell her to mop it. Yeah, I got that going. Damn, she took that thing off and bring it around. Going at it till I'm on. Put that nani in a hole. I'm beating it down. I'm back in that bag again. Whoa, whoa. Say less. I'm back in that bag again. Yeah, yeah. Oh, say less. I'm back in that. Yeah. What you doing?